NASA's Terra Modis satellite is orbiting 450 miles above the North Atlantic. 150 miles off the coast of Florida, over the Bahamas, the satellite photographs coastal clouds when it captures something meteorologists find strange. When they analyze the image, they spot a series of hexagon-shaped clouds. The satellite imagery is really bizarre with the hexagonal shapes of the cloud formation. You don't typically see straight edges with clouds. Most of the time, clouds are random in their distribution. The hexagons range in size from 20 to 55 miles across. Clouds like this would be intriguing anywhere, but the location of these makes them fascinating. This is the western tip of the Bermuda Triangle. This notorious area of the North Atlantic between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico is the scene of many reported disappearances of aircraft, ships, and people. So how are these strange hexagonal clouds connected with the disappearance of ships and planes? The answer lies four and a half thousand miles away in another satellite image taken over the turbulent North Sea off the coast of the United Kingdom. More hexagons spreading over 35,000 square miles, roughly the size of Ireland. This image was captured by the satellite Envisat. Envisat carries radar equipment that can see through cloud to what's happening below. With today's radar, we can actually detect things that previous to that, we simply couldn't have seen. A radar image taken at the same time reveals sea level winds of almost 100 miles an hour. That's the top of the Beaufort scale, powerful enough to generate waves over 45 feet high. I would not want to be in a boat underneath something like that. Scientists believe the powerful winds recorded by radar in the North Sea also exist below the hexagonal clouds over the Bahamas. And meteorologist Randy Cerveni thinks they're connected to a terrifying atmospheric phenomenon. These types of hexagonal shapes over the ocean are, in essence, air bombs. They're formed by what are called microbursts, and they're blasts of air that come down out of the bottom of the cloud and then hit the ocean and then create waves that can sometimes be massive in size as they start to interact with each other. The blast from an air bomb, or microburst, spreads outwards at speeds of up to 170 miles per hour. More than sufficient to tear down trees on land or flip ships on water. If Professor Cerveni is right, and these strange hexagons are the signature of deadly air bombs, then this satellite image could provide an explanation for the disappearance of ships like the SS Cyclops. It could explain how the lost squadron of 45 was knocked out of the sky. It could solve the riddle of the Bermuda Triangle. Now, satellite analysts are scanning the triangle for further signs of these weird clouds. We can trigger an alarm that will tell the forecaster that, say, a microburst has been created. It's no exaggeration to say that satellites are actually lifesavers. 